good morning. This was the cafe that we were supposed to get to the other day and didn't get to because it was closed. Breakfast time! So this is Melt In Your Mouth Cafe. Another one of the pretty ones. Very nice looking place. Very impressive, by the river as well. Chiang Rai has some pretty impressive cafes. I think Chiang Rai is going to become the next Chiang Mai. Sasha's all wrapped up. It's quite chilly again. Winter again. Winter, winter. sugar is. It's like crystals of brown sugar. I don't have sugar in my coffee but I kind of wish I did now. <laughs> Breakfast consumed. That cafe, amazing ambience, beautiful location, great coffee, food let down. I still definitely recommend it though. It's worth coming. Today we are off to Chang Sen. Yes. <laughs> I was calling it Chiang Sen, but apparently it's Chiang Sen. Home to the Golden Triangle and the Mekong River. Visiting the Golden Triangle is actually one of the most popular things that people tend to do when they come up to North Thailand. I'm going to go and check that out today and see what it's all about. So we've arrived at the Golden Triangle zone. Sasha's very sleepy. She's going to need a coffee. I am, it's crazy, but the car was really stuffy. Uh, it's it's espresso. Espresso. It's a very visible, very useful uh, road sign, Sash. <laughs> what did you get me? These are both mine. Oh, you chief. <laughs> I'll let you know when it's kicked in. So this looks like the main viewpoint over the Golden Triangle. I've seen loads of pictures of this before on people's Facebooks and everything and it's not what I thought it was going to be. So we're standing in Thailand, that's Lao and that's Myanmar. Cool. So we're off to find the Happy Buddha now. Pretty slow boat. So I've got a bit of a bone to pick with the toilet industry here in the Golden Triangle. Every toilet charges money to get in and they are a bit skanky. You'd think that if your business is your toilet, you would make sure that it was mint. If you're gonna pay money and that's all you do, one toilet I had in mind, it was really dirty. <laughs> Clean up, man. For something that's meant to be one of the best things to do in Chiang Rai, supposedly, I haven't seen much that would make me want to come back but we're not finished let's keep looking around let's have a look at this opium museum and this area is called the golden triangle because they used to refer to opium as black gold because it was so expensive heel against buttocks is the optimum position for smoking opium apparently learn something new every day thanks man Discovering new things. Yeah. <laughs> Ancient bongs. Bong. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a factoid. A bong actually comes from the Thai word for cylinder. Yeah. Museum done. 50 baht to get in and you get a free postcard. And I learned all about bongs. Now it's time to go and get some pizza. You ready for pizza? Yeah, always ready for pizza. Let's do it. That was a delicious pizza. Very, very nice. Super thin and crispy. Delicious. Recommend. Recommended. Mm -hmm. 
discovering this place purely by accident, but this is a much better view than the Golden Triangle. So that triangle there is Myanmar. And that is Laos. Quite a nice little find. I like it here. I feel like I've stepped into a bit of history, away from all the tourist vans. When we first arrived here, I didn't really like it. It's actually grown on me the longer we've been here. After the Opium Museum and having that nice pizza yeah, and then coming and up here to this temple. Yeah, I really like this temple. It's nice. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Just got to take your time and find the bits that are a little bit off the path. I spoke to a tour guide once and he told me that back in the 50s, this Golden Triangle area used to be so dangerous because of all the drug trading that tourists never came here. Now, it's completely different. There are quite a lot of these ruins around Chiang Saen to explore, over a thousand years old. So, worth looking around, follow the brown signs. Admission to this temple was 50 baht, so Sasha didn't want to pay to come in. So she's going for a little walk and I came in to have a look around and film. I don't think anybody else wanted to pay the 50 baht fee either. I'm the only person in here. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Alone in the forest, two in all good cinemas. The ruins of Chang San. And Sasha's denied entry behind the fence. It's quite pretty. I'm not sure if it was worth 50 baht for me to just come in on my own and walk about for a few seconds, but it's all right. So there's lots of like crumbly city walls and gates and moats here as well, which is also quite nice. Just off for a little stroll down the Mekong River. It's quite a lazy town, Chang Sen, isn't it, Sesh? It's definitely a grower. It's grown on me today. Yeah. So Eden didn't get a chance to be in this video, so here she is. The Golden Triangle started off like a bit of a miss and turned out to be a bit of a hit at the end, so just take some time there and it's actually a really nice place to go. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Quite a nice day out. And don't forget to check out Mekong Pizza. That was a really good pizza. One of the best I've had. As always, thumbs up for the video. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.